symposium. Uh, the first speaker will be uh, presenting Hajj music in Ottoman Empire, uh, Dr. Tajetin Buyuk uh, from uh, he will be attending online and yes we are uh, ready to hear him uh, thanks a lot uh, distinguished uh, scholar Alhamdulillah uh, distinguished uh, uh, president, distinguished participants, uh, I greet you all with all my heart. Uh, let Allah be uh, 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 Allah be Allah's in fact, be upon him, upon you. Uh, as you know, the Muslim Turks uh, use music uh, from the birth to the uh, death and from the uh, palace, the sarai, uh, to the uh, uh, street. The, uh, this uh, use of music is used for religious purposes and also for non-religious purposes. In every part of the uh, life of uh, Ottoman Empire, uh, it was used and also uh, used in the Hajj uh, duty, during the Hajj duty. And these candidate Hajj, uh, Hajjis and uh, pe people who are uh, say who were saying farewell or he were meeting them when they get back. So uh, they feel uh, uh, with uh, the uh, heavenly uh, divine uh, feelings. So this music is played everywhere while going to Hajj and while returning from Hajj. Uh, this is to uh, make people feel the uh, greatness of uh, our religion. And uh, so in all parts of uh, uh, groups uh, of people, uh, we uh, use, make use of this music and it makes people get together and uh, feel uh, oneself as companion to one another. So now let's see the uh, uh, music and where it is used. Surre uh, is one of them. That is uh, Ottoman Empire uh, was sending some uh, money to Mecca and Medine uh, during the Hajj uh, season, uh, either by uh, air, uh, land, or sea. Uh, they, the Hajjis were going there, and lots of uh, ceremonies were uh, uh, organized during that time. And uh, the the uh, hymns uh, were hymns were uh, sung and uh, the uh, takbirs uh, uh, repeating the almightiness of Allah and uh, these uh, words actually in uh, Arabic words and. Uh, Arabic uh, verses and the duties uh, which we call Akkam, uh, they're all used in uh, with music and uh, musical instruments are played uh, like tambourine and drum and these melodies also, um, these melodies are very uh, enthusiastic and also uh, and they were also uh, in Egypt. Uh, lots of musical instruments uh, were used uh, 
were played and zikirs uh, took place and ekasides also took place and also mehtar uh, uh, performed music and uh, in the farewell to the candidate hajis in ottoman empire uh, prepares uh, himself or herself uh, in a very serious way and then the uh, uh, the people who are uh, close to him come uh, to uh, say farewell and then uh, they there is a ceremonial uh, group uh, when saying farewell to them and uh, there is a group of uh, saying the prayers loudly in the plane for example the persons in on duty uh, they uh, make salawat and takbir and on the plane and in the uh, journeys uh, which are very tiresome uh, some people uh, start their music to make people feel uh, nice and uh, hajj duty starts with talbiye lebeik alayme lebeik lebeik la shirke leke bebeik in elamde la shirke leke so this is uh, the uh, uh, word ta which we call talbiye, and this is repeated. Uh, and in the segya uh, makam, uh, it was uh, uh, said, and all the prayers, all the hymns and kasides, uh, they were all uh, sung. Uh, s during the whole uh, Hajj journey uh, from the start to the end, they are uh, sang in the tents, in the houses, in uh, all stops in Hajj. Uh, so uh, with all these beautiful uh, music, uh, they felt uh, more spiritual. And and in the uh, meeting of the Hajjis, uh, the, there are ceremonies of meeting them. Uh, in the past, this occurred, and also today, uh, it's going on. And with the presence of Imam, uh, again, musical, uh, rhythmic uh, instruments are used, and with loud music, takbirs. Uh, take place and the prayer pray of the imam and a drink of sherbet and so the people uh, who uh, come to meet the hajis uh, return their homes uh, but later on uh, one it lasts something lasts one week that is uh, visiting the hajis uh, in their home uh, and maybe the sheriff was also delivered. And when we say Hajj music, uh, what comes to our mind is uh, the um, the chants, the hymns. Uh, so these are the chants uh, which are uh, sang. Um, by the internalization of uh, the meanings of the words inside and uh, they have a musical uh, part and uh, the these hymns has the words uh, which refer to the month uh, that is experienced uh, so in the tekes and in the mosques uh, if uh, it, uh, Hajj season is near, uh, up till the sacrifice uh, by Ram, uh, the, they, uh, people uh, sing hymns. Uh, and before going to Hajj, uh, uh, the uh, 
person, the candidate Haji, uh, uh, expresses his uh, uh, or her thanks to Allah uh, because of uh, uh, granting him the opportunities to go to Hajj. And uh, among these hymns, uh, the uh, ones uh, related to Kabe uh, were uh, the pioneering ones. So the happiness uh, uh, when uh, uh, the Hajis go there and see uh, Kabe, and the sadness when they are leaving Kabe uh, is. Uh, uh, expressed in the uh, words of these hymns. So uh, in these hymns, the words uh, say that uh, the um, spiritual gains are very much, and uh, seeing Kabe uh, is also a very uh, secret uh, place, and uh, uh, saying greetings and uh, all the uh, um, activities carried out in the uh, Kabe uh, location are also um, expressed in the Himes, in the words of the Himes, are <coughs> in Arafat Waqf. Uh, uh, there are also uh, Himes uh, that refer to that uh, event and also Muzdalife takes place in the hymns, and the duties are uh, expressed. And the, another uh, topic was uh, sacrificing the animal and how it came through and uh, what the Hajj, what the Hajis did during their Hajj uh, duty. And when they are leaving the place, Hajis feel sad, even though they were they were going to walk from Mecca to Medina. Uh, and again, some advices were given uh, during this uh, travel. Uh, one of the uh, uh, goals of going to Aj is uh, to visit uh, Medina as well, and uh, uh, because the Hajis also um, um, ask for the uh, testimony of the uh, Prophet Muhammad uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, so the hymns uh, uh, had the expressions related to that. And when there is a, a break in the journey, for example, when they stop to get rest in uh, Suri, Syria, for example, when they are passing through Syria, they uh, sing about, the hymns are about uh, important people in Syria. So uh, the Muslim Turks at every phase of their life uh, made use of music, and this music uh, is also uh, used in the in the uh, ceremonies and takbir salat uh, uh, were also maras were sung and in the other cities uh, many other ceremonies were held by other musical uh, instruments. A high level of voice uh, was used in takbirs and salawats and several sefers were carried out. Could you please wrap up? Thank you. And uh, congratulating the hajis also, Mevlidi Sherif was uh, delivered. Uh, Talbiye uh, is uh, repeated all through the Hajj duty, and Muslim Turkish uh, people uh, 
the hymns are one of the musical forms of uh, the divine uh, feelings. So they are used in every part of the uh, Hajj journey. Uh, it was a uh, thanks uh, to uh, God uh, because of uh, making it possible for them to go to Hajj, Vesal Karani, and uh, the other some other important people uh, were referred to. So Haji Haji's ear uh, heard a very nice musics and. So, uh, starting with Hajj, in all the worships, uh, in all kinds of uh, worships, uh, music is used in the Ottoman Empire, and uh, the researches may are made on how to make use of uh, music. Uh, and uh, we think that this is really very important. Uh, I'm finishing with respect. Thank you very much for this beautiful presentation. Thank you.